All right, what's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here, founder and CEO of Executive Stride. In today's video, we're gonna look at how you can save anywhere from, you know, eight to 16 or, you know, 14 to 45, or depending on whatever scheduling software you're using for your calendar, how you can save that amount of money using go high level you know if you're using calendly it's eight to sixteen dollars per seat per month with go high level you pay one time for your whole entire crm all in one everything you know that you get with go high level if you're not familiar with go high level check out some of my other videos but you save that and you get unlimited calendar seats within go high level let's see how it is let's see how to set it up and how to use it and get right into it All right, so if you're not familiar with Go High Level, like I said, check out some of my other videos. But uh, this tool replaces so many other tools that you may be using in your tech stack and puts it into uh, all in one CRM. So, HubSpot, uh, Active Campaign, all these right here, you can see it can replace. Um, so, one of those is something like Calendly. We used to always use Calendly. I really liked Calendly. I really do like Calendly still, but uh, it's just, uh, I mean, actually, I, it's okay. It's the, it was my favorite uh, calendar schedule app before I started using Go High Level. Um, but you can see here, it's actually, I was on the annual plan. It's actually 10 to $20 per seat. So I can't remember exactly which one we were on. Um, we were either we were we were definitely on the paid plan. Um, if you're on the free plan, there's Calendly branding, so you don't want that. But um, let's see, redirect your invites. We were definitely minimum on this. Add links to your connections. I don't know what the difference between professionals and teams is, to be quite honest. But so you're either paying fifteen to twenty dollars per user per per month. Right, so say if we have a sales team of five guys, for example, um, you know that need calendars. That's not even including like a fulfillment team, fulfillment team if they need a calendar, whatever. If you need users that are are plugged into a, their own calendar, that's gonna cost fifteen to twenty bucks per seat. Let's say we're on the Teams plan, for example, that five people will be a hundred dollars per month just for a calendar app. Right, so luckily go high level replaces that of course so if we go to go high level here you can see on the left hand side here we have our calendars tab so you can go ahead to calendars so you'll see your calendars that you uh would have so no calendar sound for your user please create a calendar uh create a new one or ask the admin to assign you to an existing calendar so we can go to calendar settings here um Okay, so this is actually, just so you know, this would be in settings. So settings, and then calendar, right? And you can check calendar preferences. You can change the start date, the calendar view, widget language. You can change the language here, 24-hour time frame uh, format or the 12-hour time format. It's up to you. By default, it's 12-hour. And then you can create a new calendar. I'll show you that in a second. Um, here's calendar code. So you can get grab a calendar group, a calendar, and then, yeah. So calendar groups are cool because you can do some stuff like this. You can do sales team. You can add a description if you wanted to. Okay, I guess you need to. Sales team. Uh, team calendar um, sales team demo sales team there we go uh, you may have to try a few different slugs just to find one that's available, right? And then description, you just put sales team and then save. So you could have a group of sales team, a group of fulfillment team, a group of, you know, uh, support, um, 
you know, hiring HR, right? You can have different calendar groups and then you can create calendars within these groups, right? So at the start, there's really three settings here. So we have appointment distribution. So determine how meetings from your calendar will be distributed amongst the team members. Round robin scheduling. So you, it already has like all round robin scheduling built in. So you can do optimize for availability optimize for equal distribution so this is a demo high level account right now so I'd, i only have one user added but let's say i have um, a bunch of users added you can add user oh wait, i had actually have two users so i have a va um so let's say user there and you can change this right here is the location so you can do custom and write the meeting location here or you can use connect to zoom right you would connect to zoom i'm not going to do that uh or google meet google meet it just automatically generates a google link uh google meet link and this uh requires a google google primary calendar to work uh i'm just going to leave custom though all right so you can do optimize for equal distribution which will basically um give say if someone's booking through a link and you have multiple users on say if you had two users uh, it's going to give 50% of the meetings to user A and 50% to user B. If you optimize for availability, then it's going to give to whoever is available. Say if there's two people that are available, say if you have like three people in the round robin and there's two people that are available, you can change the priority status of who gets the most meetings. So you can do high priority, medium priority, or low priority, right? So that's how you would do it. Um, I'm just going to delete that and then name. So you could name this meeting. So um, like demo call uh, description to be demo call slug demo call or oh, only alpha numer. Okay. Oh, there's a space here. Delete. Um, contact appointment title. So contact name. Um, and then user name. Uh, we could do X username demo call. And then event color. So you can do tomato, flamingo, tangerine, banana, sage, basil, peacock, blueberry, lavender, grape, graphite. It's kind of cool names. Um, we'll go with banana. Um, okay. And then let's go save and continue. Okay. So you need to pick one member, obviously. So let me add that. Let's go save and continue. Now you choose your availability. And you can also change the availability like a user can uh, you or a user can change their availability within the user settings um, as well but this is the availability for the calendar so config configure duration and intervals for the appointment so slot duration you can choose like five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour 75 minutes 90 minutes whatever so let's say we wanted 30 minutes slot interval all right so we could say 30 minutes buffer duration between appointments let's say we want a 15 minute buffer or even just like 10 minute buffer and then appointments per slot we could just say one um appointments per day say if we only wanted like 10 max or like even like five or eight whatever you could add that there if you don't want any if you don't care if you want as much as possible then just leave it blank we'll just do like eight and then scheduling notice uh, minimum scheduling notice so you can do change this by days hours weeks or months say if we're using days we could just do like one day uh, date range so events can be scheduled over the next n days so if you wanted it to only be able to schedule for the next two weeks so I could only someone could only schedule two weeks ahead you can change that to that and then you can select the days that you'll be available um, so let's say that you want people to book for so let's say if you wanted you know six days right here monday is a wednesday thursday friday saturday 
and then you could go, let's say 9 a.m. to um, 7 p.m. And then you could either change each day to be custom time, uh, time different, like whatever. Or you could just do apply to all and now it's 7, 9 to 7, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. for all of these days here. Now I click continue. And now you'll see confirmation. So custom form, you can click here and select an actual form. So if you would like to collect more information than this, just first name, last name, email, phone number. For those who book on this calendar, you can create a custom form in marketing, then form builder, and then select the form via the drop down below. So let's say you wanted to have like um, integrate, like instead of having a quiz and then uh, go to a book a call, you could just have all the questions within the calendar, like, you know, what's your current monthly revenue? What's your desired monthly revenue or, or how many clients do you currently have? Or how much leads where are you getting your leads from you could add questions like that depending on like if you're a marketing agency or if, say if you're a coach or a fitness coach you could have something like asking what their fitness goals are or whatever and then you could see that as well before speaking to them and then notifications and additional options so configure notifications and other miscellaneous options so notification type acknowledgement email um, who should receive this notification you can change let's say contact assigned user and then enter a single email list of addresses uh, list single or list of email addresses to receive alerts when a new appointment request is received from multiple addresses please uh, comma uh, del delimit all right so yeah we're not going to do that but that's how you do that and then let the calendar auto confirm my appointment allow google calendar to send invite invitation or update to emails uh, to attendees and then allow reschedule allow ca cancellation uh, assign contacts to the, the representative calendar team members each time an appointment is booked assign contacts oh that's actually kind of cool i didn't know that and then skip assigning contact if the contact ha has already assigned to a user so you could that's actually kind of cool i didn't i think they just added a bunch of new calendar options they're always updating things which is amazing with go high level um okay so additional notes so you could change some of these notes and these right here by the way are um they are like tags custom tags all right so you can actually go it's custom value merge fields and now that workflows are live and all blah blah so here are the fields or the the merge the custom values so contact name contact first name last name email phone there's a bunch right attribution user so username this would be the sign user um appointment date you can like check out all this stuff here um and this right here will you can add these like to where is it you can add, that's what these are, right? These will auto populate here, but you saw that I added one earlier in the, the, uh, the calendar, um, booking name. So I would say like, say if someone books on my calendar and their name is John and we'll say Josh and John or Josh Pocock and John Smith, blah, 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 demo call, right? So you can add those custom fields there. You can add custom uh, code. So enter custom code. If you want loaded on the calendar load. This can include HTML and JavaScript, but not CSS. All right. So this could be stuff like, you know, pixels, but you can actually just add your Facebook pixel ID right here. Um, so you can track, uh, you know, when someone lands on the booking calendar, uh, and then you can add a form submit request uh, redirect URL. So if you want to redirect URL or a custom thank you message, thank you for bringing your appointment, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, and then you can click continue. And then there you have it. You have your first calendar. If you can go here, you can check. So what it will look like, you can of course add more of a uh, description there. And then you'll be able to see your available times we selected here. Someone can go through here, click on one that they want, continue, first name, last name, phone number, email address, additional information, and then schedule a meeting. Okay, so I just scheduled it as a test. 
you'll see your meeting has been scheduled blah 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 add to google calendar add to outlook slash ical so that's what it would look like and then if i wanted to see this um look i will see in the calendar section now we'll see our calendar i can switch up here to um you know user uh, my calendar or groups or demo or calendar specifically so i'll go to sales team it was next week and then there we have it josh demo call i am the tag i used was wrong i would just fix that if i really cared you'll see the appointment location all this stuff status confirmed um and then over here appointments you'll see the appointments as well right you can filter by all appointments or specific stuff like that so other than that guys that's pretty much it um you can go ahead and look at our website here which of course was made on go high level and here is our booking page well one of our booking pages but you can see here we did add some custom code just to stylize this um so that's why it's like a different color right but this was this is a go high level calendar right here click the stuff click continue enter in the info and yeah so i mean if you want to book a call with us to potentially work with us see if uh, you know you want some coaching or consulting or get some info on our programs you can go to executivestride.com forward slash apply or for the executivestride.com forward slash quiz i'll leave a link in the description below fill out a quiz and we'll speak to you um but other than that guys that's how you use go high level calendars all right um really really powerful stuff it's gonna save you a bunch of money and improve your efficiency in your company and your business um so that's it for today's video guys also to uh make sure to join the stride community to stay up to date with you know behind the scenes free resources details etc it's our free group facebook group discord channel and then also to guys make sure to join the wait list on the accelerate your stride challenge will be dropping very very soon guys so if you haven't already joined the wait list it's free all right and other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video guys keep hustling keep grinding and of course accelerate your stride